Hey guys, this is Ryguy Gaming here today, back with another Roblox scripting tutorial. You'll have to excuse my voice, I did get sick recently and so I probably don't sound the best that I've ever sounded, but it's okay because I should be better in a few days. But anyways, um, I'll probably be better way before my next video comes out, haha. <laughs> Anyways, so today I wanted to show you guys something that I think is pretty cool. So if you see here, when I jump out into the void, there's like nothing there. Like I just kind of went through air um, and ran into nothing. There's nothing that's like solid there. There's actually an invisible part right there, but you know, it's not solid. But anyways, when I step on these, da -da -da -da, I actually get terrain. So these aren't blocks, these are like the actual um, terrain that you would do with the terrain generator tool. Oh, I can't jump that far. And I just wanted to show you how to do this. So you might be wondering, first of all, why the heck would I want to do this? Because I can just use the terrain generator tool right here and like make stuff. Um, the reason you'd want to do this is so that you can generate terrain on the fly. In the next tutorial, I'll be showing you how you can paint terrain. Um, so it, let's say you're in game here and you have your mouse and you like equip a tool or something and you can like draw terrain. So basically you can make your own maps in game if you wanted to or the applications are probably way more extensive than I can think of right now. But basically in game painting is the best I can come up with. But anyway, so let's go ahead and look at what we got here. So basically I just have these two parts um, that are I'm using as buttons and then I just have two invisible parts here and here. Let me make them visible so that you can see them. But as you can see they're just two parts and they're really just placeholder parts. Um, this one is the specific size for a reason. This one does not have, this one the size does not matter. I'll tell you why in a second. So let's go ahead and look at the blue button. As you can see, I only have a script in the button. And so basically all we do is just get the part from workspace, store it in a variable here. And then when the button is touched using this uh, touched event right here, we just use the game.workspace.terrain fill block function. And so what this does is it will take a part, so the position, the rotation, the C-frame of a part, and it will replace it with, ter well it won't replace it, but it will fill it with terrain. So this part um, gets filled with terrain. The part doesn't go away, you'd have to delete that by yourself, but it does go ahead and go away. And so you can see here that um, I also have the size of the part. This is like kind of how big. So this is the location, this is the size, and then this is the material. If you remember when I showed you, I had this one block right here turn into a water block. So you can see here that I'm swimming in the water and going through this part. You can delete the part or just leave it invisible though, it's up to you. And then let's go ahead and look at the second one now. So inside of the red button, we have the, pretty much the exact same thing. The only difference is we're calling in a different method this time or function. So instead of fill block or whatever it was before, was it fill block? Yeah. So instead of fill block, we're using fill ball. Um, the only difference is instead of taking a C frame, it takes a position and then a radius, and then the material. So the position, you can just use the block's position. For the radius, that's just, I'm sure you guys have seen a radius before. So if you have a circle, the radius is the distance from the center to the edge. I should like show you in paint, maybe I will. But, and then you just have the material. So you can just pick from the little list that pops up. So like I have brick, but of course you can do like grass or whatever. And so you can see here that when I click play now and step on the red button that it will be a grass ball instead of a brick ball. And so that's pretty much all I wanted to show you guys for this tutorial. There is a third way of generating terrain, but it's honestly kind of redundant. Um, it's basically region terrain. 
It's essentially going like this, but with a script. And it's kind of painful because you just have to know the two corners that you want and there's a bit more things that you have to do. In my opinion, it's just a little redundant, like I said, because you have to, um... I would put in parts anyways to get the corner of the block, so it doesn't really make sense to not just use fill block. Because you can only really do blocky shapes with the square region anyways, so... As far as I can see, there's really no point to using fill region over fill block. If there is one, let me know. I'd be happy to know. But anyways, guys, that's going to be it for this tutorial. Just a short one because I'm sick. And like I said, next time I'll show you how to do some more in-depth and practical things with this. Um, like I said, I'll be showing you how to paint terrain in-game. I just think this is pretty cool because you could have like your map expand dynamically or whatever. So even this is still pretty practical. But anyways, guys, if you have any questions, please be sure to post them in the comments or join my Discord server. The link to which is down in the description. Also, please be sure to leave a rating. Just let me know how you feel about the video. I would really like if you left feedback in either the comments or the like-dislike because it just lets me know if you guys like what I'm doing or if you'd like to see something changed. Of course, if you leave a dislike, it would be nice if you left a comment, but I ramble. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you have a nice rest of your day, and I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye. Goodbye.